I tell you where the tree is that's infected in this whole county. You can go talk about cutting it down. It's up at the courthouse in Idabel, right in front of the post office. Big giant one. It's been there for years, covered in seeds every year, and it's spreading. The birds are spreading from that tree. Could be more in Idabel, but uh -huh. that's one of the main spreaders. I think it's a huge, just heavy with fruit every year. Yeah, this, this female doesn't show herself. I mean, she'll show herself to predators at night, <laughs> not to humans. But that's a nest there. Oh, right there. Yeah. Ooh. That looks like an alligator nest. Yeah, get your photos of a nest here because the other side, you're going to be too busy running from the mama to get a photo. <laughs> Nervous here. Oh, a little bigger. I think. Oh, maybe in here. Oh, he's gonna set the tree. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> My legs are too short oh, to sit no, up on this. Okay. No, nothing. Nothing. No, we're good. Priscilla just adjusting herself. Oh, so many shorebirds and wetland birds out there. I don't know them. Are we here already? I think it's just going to fall over. See them in the sky over the pink ones over the rookery three? Oh, I do, I do. Wow, gosh, you've got good eyes. That's the first ones I've seen this year. I was hoping that I, I saw your bird list from yesterday and I didn't see any spoonbills on it. I had a wood store, but if you can't miss the pink. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Oh, see wow, it. yeah. All right. Awesome. <laughs> I don't even have my glasses on. Everything's a little blurry. <laughs> but you saw the pink. I like this guy. So many dragonflies. So many dragonflies. So all those little white doubts out there are cattle grits. Or are they? They're landing down in their low. Yeah. So are the majority of the white birds in the trees cattle grits? The majority are, yes. But there's a good variety out there. We've got great egrets, snow egrets, little blue herons. Black crown night herons, we have traffic cormorants and hingas all breeding out there. Green cool. herons. Tom and Gallon are out there hollering. Oh, okay. If you look hard, you should see on both sides, you should see some purple gallon Oh, I, saw I that did see the that. I like those. You saw those in Hawaii. I don't think they're native there, though. If I did do, if I did learn birds, it would be the the wetland birds first because they seem easiest, more distinct. See the T post ahead on the right? Yes. Okay, that's where the nest is. Okay, I see the. Camera. Oh no, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> T post on the right. I know. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong side. For Fighting side. This is the. Yeah, right there by the levee. Oh, right here. Here it is. Oh, oh there there's the bomb! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. <laughs> now, why'd you turn off the truck? I 
saw a splash. Yep, she she came up. She came up? We all saw the splash. Oh, she's coming. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah she usually come right up. Oh, Stumpy. <laughs> she's right there. She's right there. <laughs> yeah. Hi, lady. Oh, she's coming. <laughs> okay. I'm, you seriously? don't have to stay way back on this side. <laughs> no, this is fun. Oh, my gosh. I'm to get back in. No, come out of the truck and bite you. Yeah, don't do that. Hi, Mom. Don't worry, we're just looking. We love your babies. We want them to do well. Okay, I've had my picture taken so many times. Okay, don't worry. We're very impressed. <laughs> wow, it is cool that she only has three legs. Yeah. Good job. You know, when you're mostly in the water, I guess it doesn't matter too much. They're using that tail, I guess. I want to touch the legs. Oh God, no. No, no, no. I, I, I know what alligators feel like. I, I've held a baby alligator before. I don't. Can you get back in? Bye, we're leaving. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that was that was a closer encounter than I was expecting. Ah! I'm staying over here. <laughs> so this nest has two you clutches. We're garden it as soon as we have it cleaned out, so everything looks okay. Uh, there are two mom gators protecting this nest. When I first found this nest, she was very aggressive. And then the day we were here checking it, she just came up to the edge of the water and sit and watch me. Maybe they figured out if two, if two of them work together and take turns guarding it, it's more successful. Well, I'm just wondering if uh, how they relate to each other. Oh, you know, if yeah. If they were sisters or anything and or if the one mother is dominating and chase the other one off or has anybody done any know. genetic work with the gators down here uh there's some being a little bit being done from some uh dead babies that we've collected uh -huh. um and the, the research dr um jake pruitt and dr jared wood to get all the names right uh -huh. They just got a, a, a grant or whatever mm -hmm. with the wildlife department, permission and everything. They do research for the next, start next year for two years on gators. And they're going to be looking at all kinds of stuff, including oh, cool. genetic work. And, <laughs> so. Yeah, it would be interesting to see how they are related in this small complex. Mm-hmm. But there's a size difference. One of them's about a seven foot gator, and the other one's about a six foot, which would suggest maybe mother daughter. They could be still sisters, but from different broods. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But maybe not from the same brood. And our biggest gator on the area is 14 feet long. This corner up here, and you only see him in the springtime when he first comes out of a brumation. They don't hibernate; it's called brumation. That time of year, there's no vegetation; everything's open. You can see. All they want to do is lay up and sunbathe, then you mm -hmm. can see her, see him easy. You gotta sneak up on him still. He's still pretty, <laughs> pretty wary, but you know, once they get a certain size, they start growing this way in bulk. Oh, uh-huh. And not so much a length. Uh-huh. And I had him and a 12-footer laid up side by side on the bank, sunning. And there's only like two foot difference in length, but it was like twice the mass of the 12-footer. Wow. <laughs> so So you said there were eleven nests. How many like individual gators do you think are here? 
Okay, I do surveys um, late March, early April period, whenever, right after they come out of hibernation. Actually, I usually do it in March. Yeah, March is when I do it, early March. The gators, all they want to do is lay up and bask, and you can see them real easy, and I walk around these lakes and sneak up on them. I know the spots where they hang out. And oh, the secret gator hangout. So I've been getting, from my counts I've been getting for the last few years and everything, we have somewhere, not counting little babies because the predation on those are real high, but let's say three feet and up, we have a population, you know, once they get to three feet, they just about got it made. Uh, three feet and up, somewhere between 45 to 50 gators here. Wow. So. Now, who's and that? the wildlife department wants to start hunting them now. Of no. course. I don't think that's enough, but I guess that's probably what yeah. some of the research is going to. Yeah, that's what the research is about. So, the research, I think, will hold them off for a couple of years from having a hunt. And we got the highest population density in the whole state. Oh, Little yeah. River Refuge, even though it's yeah. huge, it's got all that habitat. The gators are just like one here, one there, scattered around the oxbows. They really don't know how many they have. I'm gonna move before she gets out of the Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. That's fine. Oh, you gotta hiss. observation platform. Look out over this little lake. And all of that yellow is a carnivorous aquatic plant. A bladder wart. It's all blooming out there. Here's a egret, the egret rookery. It is, it's got lots of other species too, David said. This was an old rice farm. But they're re restoring the wetlands too. Wow, it's just full of wildlife. Usually, that stuff's growing mainly where they're standing water. This stuff is just wet ground up here. Uh, that was a little bit here. Yeah. 